Kirk, we love you. We understand what you're doing out here in the golf world. But these suits that Kirk be wearing is extremely tight. Kirk Franklin has to have a homosexual tailor. That's just out there. Everybody, we 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 know Kirk, we love you. This is not in that net you, Kirk, but Kirk has these suits and his socks show he got about that much. That's considered high waters, Kirk. I'm a fan of Kirk, but Kirk lost me. There's no way that a man who is a man thinks that that looks nice on you. <laughs> we are men. Unless you just walk into your son's closet, close your eyes and put on the tightest thing that you can find. Kirk, all your business be hanging out. You don't have to talk sex every time. He was on a uh, TV show, Sunday's Best. Ladies and gentlemen, kiss it walk. I don't care if it was Tuesday's Best. You still have to be a man. The more famous he got, the more tighter his clothes. And some of that stuff, I don't even imagine how he got those buttons buttoned. I don't know how he got the zipper zipped. How he got that belt buckle. Lip gloss and uh, eyeliner and mascara. I don't, I don't think that's right for a real man to be wearing that. You're a man, Kurt. We are men. Dress code. Every male, I think, needs to have the ability to tie a tie um, properly. I know it's these new modern technology ways that we're doing it, but um, sort of dude just come with a knot, you know, like just a knot in his tie. When you will get size for your suit, make sure your suit is suitable to fit your body. But I'm against certain certain articles for men. Um, these new things, the, the new men knickerbocker things, they just don't, they just don't roll for me. We can't do the male knickerbockers. And, but uh, it's, it's certain colors, the, the, the combination needs to match all this psychedelic, you know, we can do spots and polka dots and squares and all that. I'm just old fashioned. I just think boys should wear drawers and cats should chase dogs. I'm just old school like that. One thing I'm tired of seeing is all of these fellas coming in with skinny jeans, especially have to slide through pews, you know, to get in between or get to your seats. For a man to be in church attire, I think that being well groomed plays a good part of his attire. Because it don't make no sense to be, you know, nice to bow tie, ascot or whatever you wear, with a nice suit, nice shoes, and have bad hair with a curly toupee. If you're going bald, go all the way. Stop flapping that piece of hair on the top and it's good and shiny and the back is nappy. I, I don't understand. It it's sickening. What's up with the rough look? Why every, I know the, um, I know the message said come as you are, you know, we're supposed to enter into the church as we are, but why everybody want to look rough? The reason they have the, all the buttons on the shirt is for you to button all the buttons on the shirt. That don't mean you button the first three and let your belly hang out the bottom two. That's a no-no. Nah, nah. We don't that's that no in church. Church code for men. I know everybody want to be sexy. What is up with these real tight blouse looking shirts? Yeah, we can't come in there with the, um, one of them itty long outfits on, especially if you ain't even doing the necessary workout for it. Cause I'm like, are you a bodybuilder? That's a no-no. You're supposed to have a shirt, and as you get muscle, the shirt gets tighter. Or are you going to work out immediately after church? Did you work out before you came to church? With your, with your breast hanging out, your double breast suit. That's a no-no. And they have the nerve to look like they got breasts. Looking like you was on a wrist dog commercial. Your shirt is so tight, your breast bigger than mine. Wrist dog. What the other call? Think she should be at the altar. But nah, nah.